So the time has come. We are ready to develop and design our application. Now like most applications, depending on which page you're swiping to or moving to, you usually have the same background contents. So we're going to start working on our background. The first thing we're going to want to do is go down here to layer 1, double click on it, and rename it to background. After you're done that, the next step you're going to want to do is to make sure that we end up changing the stage color to your liking. So if we go over the stage and we left click on it, you'll notice that to the right again in our properties window, we actually see the stage down here and the color that it is currently. If we left click on it, we can choose whatever swatch we would like. I'm going to stick with black for the time being, as that's what I used last time. Then after that, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to start putting graphics onto the background. But before we do that, let's go down to our layers, click on new layer, and rename this new layer to graphics. After doing that, we'll go over to our shape tools. We'll make sure that we're on object drawing down here. And I'm going to change the fill color to blue. I will left click and drag holding the shift key and then after making one I will actually hold down command hit C command hit V then make a duplicate version of it and then by selecting my selection tool and moving it I can now change the fill color afterwards that way I make my job a little bit easier and not as stressful so we'll do this with a few boxes really quick just a quick command copy command paste and there we go. Now I have all my boxes. I can move them accordingly with the smart guides as I'm doing right now. And after doing that, the last thing we're going to want to make sure we do is put text on our page. So before we do that, I'm just going to go up here really quick and make sure that my whole app is fitting the window. Just to make sure I'm not cutting off anything at the top or bottom. And before I type my text, I'm going to create one more new layer rename it to text and now I'm going to go over to my text tool make sure that the color in my text properties is the color I want so I will switch this to white and then I'll go over left click and drag and then I'll end up putting in what I wanted to say so brand Bosa's portfolio and then highlighting it all again I can change the size over here of how big it's going to be so let's make it around 47 for this demonstration and then I'll left click and drag just right in the middle and now that I'm actually seeing where my text is going to be I am going to just reorganize this little bit for now making my squares again and making them all aligned so now we have these three down here text graphics and background I'm going to click on the folder and name the folder main content and then I'm going to left click and drag my text down into the main content and I'm also going to left click on graphics hold down my shift key and left click background and drag them both into the main content folder you will notice that they're in the main content folder if they're actually indented so for example if I clicked on the layer and then I took it out of the main content folder see how it's lined up with the main content folders icon and how these ones are actually a little bit indented that means that these three are within this folder so now that I have my main folder right here with my three different layers the next step is to decide how many different frames or pages in this case that I'm going to need in order to get across my portfolio to my audience.